It is how to do a reboot because during this time in the mid to early 2000s, the reboot craze where Texas Chainsaw had a reboot, a Friday 13 had a reboot, it basically any every, everything had a reboot. So eventually, Halloween was gonna get to a reboot. Tonight's brutal murders was described by police as Manson-like in its viciousness. Three people brutally murdered and a 10-year-old boy being held in custody. Even though, from my research, remakes and reboots have been a thing for a very long time. It's just more prevalent in the 2000s and now. You see that now a lot of days. But anyways, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2007. Better work for 15 years. This summer, Rob Zombie unleashes a unique vision of a legendary tale. <laughs> Listen, be careful tonight. A lot of nutcases come out on Halloween. Is I don't know I don't know how to put this film. The second time we watch it, I watched both cuts. This movie and the Halloween two, two thousand nine, both have you know the director's cut and the theatrical cut. I will talk about both of them. I don't know how far this movie, but let's get on with the facts. McDonnell, Donald, or whatever, uh, ruined a great number of takes by invoking hysterical laughter in other actors. So this actor is playing the new Loomis, who's a bit more skinnier and has a British accent. It seems like I do like this actor and his interpretation of Doctor Loomis. He obviously doesn't can't be Donald presence but i didn't mind him wait but his motives though and sort of the, the later film and this film well in this film he's kind of generic loomis but in this movie it's very implied more that he actually does want to help michael because of the 40 or 45 minute i mean the first 40 minutes of it is sort of the background of myers and the asylum and loomis actually trying to help him there's even some deleted scenes of loomis trying to have michael talk after a certain amount of years he's trying to convince him to talk trying to help him and you i think you see it in the director's cut where it's he's like he's finally given up but not given up but he feels like he's failed in trying to help this kid. So when his years goes up, he has to go away. You see a shot of him at the outside window. He turns back around, feeling bad for it, not himself, but for Michael. And because he, you know he failed in helping this kid with his mental sort of upbringing and issues. Sort of the mental asylum first 40 minutes was you know part of a Carpenter's TV version. That part of the film, I know again the the mystery of Myers is what keeps him scary. I personally didn't mind this. Yes, it ruins his mystique, but you know at least it was different. One gripe I have about remake is a shot for shot remake and it's just like what, what's the point you know what's the point of remaking it if you're not gonna redo something or reimagine it and that's what remake is so at least i'll give it that apparently rob zombie was against the idea of actors from previous films with the exception of downer harris harris revealed in the 23 interview that producers didn't reach out to her she heard about the role at a horror convention and her agent had to go to great lengths just to get her in for audition then former disney and nickelodeon actor child actor admitted the main reason why she was cast was that she had agreed to film a very late chase scene while naked something that she had, she had never done before oh yeah they talking about that the sister michael's sister is that what they're talking about so yeah producers didn't want jamie however rob zombie did which is why she's in it she's i believe she's 30 at the time of filming this, but she did not look 30 she looks she still had like a like a baby face in the, in the mid 2000s now you know she's in her 40s she, she has kids clearly she's aged well in her 30s as well producers didn't want her for some reason she, i mean she was good in the roles that she was in so and four and five so don't know why they, they wouldn't bring her back tyler main is the tall Tallest actor to portray Michael Myers at the height of six feet and eight inches tall. One thing I will praise this movie for is how big and scary Michael is in the present day. He is so freaking tall. I would. This is the scariest Michael. Uh, is that if there's one thing that Rob Zombie did right is the cast for Michael Myers. He looked tall, big, was enormous. In that scene where he's gonna get transferred, he's huge. He is scary. I would not want to fuck with this Michael Myers. Before making the movie, Rob Zombie made a wise choice to contact and inform Carpenter about. A response Carpenter encouraged Zombie to make his own, which he did, which is good, but kind of mainly bad thing. <laughs> and making his own, you have the first opening minutes of Rob Zombie's dialogue. Of just the horror with the big tits hanging down to her knees. 
Maybe I'll choke the chicken, purge my snorkel all over them flappy ass tits. Good, we'll have a good fucking time. I will. I hope she likes cripples. I'll go just white trash people, you know, white people. I think he's in the interview. He said that he has like this weird fascination with like that that type of like people or whatever. This white white trash people. I don't know why. It, it really does ruin the movie. I remember watching this for first time, thinking, "What the hell is this? Like, what am I watching? This is through Halloween, right?" And he sort of went the nurture route for Myers, which again, some people don't like. They like the mystery. I get it. Didn't mind it at first, so you know it was all right for me movie's production was delayed due to mustafa akad's death sadly yeah he did pass away the producers from all eight previous movies he died several injuries from resolve of terrorist attacks and at jordan and 05 yeah you know this unfortunate events led to his death which is very sad and clearly from uh, interviews from other people on, on youtube or whatever and other interviews that are close to him he seems to have really loved this this franchise michael myers which why he's been involved in every movie and you know so it sucks to hear that before deciding to go of zombies version studio was about a greenlit halloween the missing years would have been a prequel set within michael myers early days of the asylum don't think that would have been too interesting that basically was the first for again 40 minutes zombie original one i danny harris to play laurie strode and sherry moon her his wife played linda 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 but obviously, this is me just speculating producers wanted something else. Wanted another actor for some reason, but it is what it is. The film is 121 minutes, the longest Halloween film to date. Wait, is that the theatrical? I should know this. I watched both cuts. I think that's just the theatrical cut. Or maybe, I must say that's the theatrical. Obviously, the director cut is way longer. 121 minutes? I didn't feel that at all, really? It still would have been a good movie, but oh man, okay. It, it didn't feel long. It felt how it should have been. Movie was not released in the US on Halloween weekend as it was the original. For the fear of going head head with saw 4 2007 instead of released two months earlier on the last week in august so yeah around this time saw was a big thing due to underwhelming and poor test screenings they had to you know reshoots including a new skip from myers in the hospital as, as well as a alternate ending zombie casted his wife because he wanted a tall actress to play his mother which would explain why he grew so tall uh, i don't know about this i think he just wanted his, his wife to be in the movie and for her to be in that like strip club scene but anyway the film was originally going to be another sequel to halloween retributions wait what sorry linda booth but the idea was scrapped for halloween resurrection flop wait what's halloween was it was supposed to be a, a sequel to okay yeah, yeah so after resurrection a uh, sequel to be called halloween retribution okay okay yeah. oh i did not know that i should have included that in resurrection an interview rob zombie said that we went to a meeting with the weinsteins with two films in mind one being strictly just Myers and his childhood then the remake unfortunately they shot the idea down just, which is why in the first half of the remake the film focuses on michael's childhood it felt like the first 40 minutes later on zombie revealed making halloween with the weinsteins it was a miserable experience for him in quotations and so i was very reluctant to do a second one i did do the second one and i thought okay well the first one was a miserable experience but it did well so maybe it'll be easier the second time it was worse oh my god i felt like they weren't trusting me on the first one because they wanted to make sure it was a hit now they weren't trusting me not to mess up their big hit end of quotations detailing why the experience was not deep one the creators looks back on favorably he said in quotes it would show me scenes from halloween to try to make me make a point and i'd be like yeah i know i made that movie why did you show me that like i've never seen it before you made a behind the scenes documentary for me of halloween that's how i got lost in the vaults that shows how messed up everything was and what was going on when we were making those movies so yeah another first productions by from zombies experience with the weinsteins kind of reminds me of that halloween 6 situation not as bad but apparently to zombie it was really bad even the uh, the joe rogan podcast that i still haven't watched fully through he stated there was a lot of uh studio like meddling you know just getting calls on set every now and then the wine just didn't trust them which is what it just kind of like pissed him off a little bit you know just trust this guy and, and if it bombs it bombs if it doesn't oh well you know one of the most complex scenes the film was shot on february 26 2007 on the campus of los angeles city college the day shooting used 160 extras and about 100 crew people i think this is a deleted scene or was never used because i remember not seeing this i'm like this is a movie i don't think it's ever used i could be wrong i don't get quote but i don't remember seeing like 160 people I mean, oh, hold on. There is that shot of the of uh, the Doctor Loomis thing, right? Is that what they were like referring to? If that's the like, case, I thought they just had a random people going to school that day or something. I, I didn't know they didn't need like 160 extras. If that's the case, then okay, sure. <laughs> oh God, okay. At one point, Dimension Studios considered making a crossover film featuring Pinhead from the Hellraiser series, which was at, owned by Miramax at the time, following the footsteps of New Line Cinema's horror crossover with Freddy vs. Jason. But however, the response from fans was negative, and studio dropped the concept. What would have 
been a Myers versus Pinhead? Like, what? Was Pinhead gonna go to Myers and torture him in hell or something? Bring him in hell? And then Myers killing Pinhead in hell or something? Like, honestly, thinking about it now, it would have been pretty cool. I mean, creatively, it could be cool, but like, I don't know. Would have been interesting. It would have been like, oh yeah, I guess this is the first movie where Myers talks his younger self, not present killer one, but this is the, the first time he actually talks on a film out of the original franchise. He does talk, but yeah, somewhere later. Ooh, John Hurt was considered for the role of Loomis. I don't know if that would have been. I could have imagined John Hurt being Loomis. Maybe. Hold on. Let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. This is an on pro search right now. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm like typing in. I'm gonna keep this all in. I couldn't imagine him. Honestly, no. I, I would not imagine him playing Loomis. He looks too old. Loomis. He was old. He had like a white like goatee, but I don't know. Would have been. Would have been weird seeing him on Zombies official Halloween MySpace page. He announced that the film's trailer would be shown with the double feature film Grindhouse MySpace. Wow. Have I heard that in ages? I personally didn't have a MySpace page because I was like what six years old. We didn't even start. Basically, when this movie, two hours, I was seven years old when this movie was out. Too young at that time. Oh, I got Brad Dorf is in this movie. Voice of Chucky. Awesome seeing him here. This for the the cast for the movie is awesome. You have like Danny Trejo, who's awesome. Brad Dorf, Chucky, who's awesome. Danielle Harris, who's good. I even like the the actress for uh, Young Lori. I do like her more than Jamie Curtis's version. Hear me out. This I forgot the actress's name, but this girl. She plays a more. It feels like Jamie Lee Curtis's Laurie Strode was sort of her typical and generic final girl, right? Cause she she's the, just she felt normal. This one she's normal as well, but she's a bit more playful. M maybe just me looking way into this, but this Rob Zombie's version of Laurie Strode was a bit more playful, and I don't know. I like her more than Jamie Lee Curtis's version. Now, obviously, I'm not saying that Jamie Lee Curtis is bad. It just felt more like a normal, good final girl, likable. This one she's likable as well, but I don't know. Maybe just me thing I, I like her when she's a bit more playful and doing stuff to, you know doing the things that she's doing in this movie but it may, maybe it's just me i don't know so unlike the original myers remains clean despite the carnage and the rob zombie films he increasingly gets dirtier as the film progresses his hand starts becoming progressively more like cake like and dirt blood and gore which demonstrates the lack of total personal care so focused on killing which is a cool little thing that i didn't notice but that's actually pretty cool not thinking about it also obviously he doesn't care about his personal hygiene you know mental health disorder orders and clear indication of serious mental illness so i do like that again zombie went the nurture route and more of the mental illness and upbringing routes which again didn't mind i actually like that however change doesn't always mean it's going to be good and her killing herself in the movie because she felt like she's failed just like with loomis in this movie has failed in taking care of her own son and she feels responsible for turning him into this very large gigantic monster so that's one thing that i like about the horror inclusion apparently zombie himself isn't a big fan of horror remake but he directed and made this movie thought that was interesting so i guess i'll get into the the different cuts right so there's so between the two cuts there's like small changes and like extra extended scenes for most of it however there is are a few like big changes for example the escape scene apparently from this quote in the alternate escape scene where it was used michael begins his escape from my son by killing two of the security guards while they're molesting a female patient zombie prefers this version of the scene it was really shot after a negative reaction from test audiences that was in in the director's cut and then however in the theatrical cut it was just him being a badass and chains and killing these other like security guards and i don't know why he thought oh as to why he prefers the rape the rape version but i was just saying to like okay are you trying to humanize him now because the, the him humanizing him is it's, it's a very slippery slope you know like how much of him he's going to save people but he's also like a killing machine like uh, i really don't like that him killing the guards by himself was a complete badass and i don't know I just prefer that way more in the theatrical and the producer's cut is long for no reason. There's extended scenes that are long for absolutely no reason. They don't add anything. Or so it was cut out of the, the movie. So I mean, there's just extra scenes of like Lori walking and whatnot. Or I don't know, just like, just extra scenes or added things that didn't need to be there for some reason. Added shots because why not? One thing I do like about the director's cut is there's that scene where Lori Strode is walking in the neighborhood and there's like these shots out of these trees where it's Lori walking and then the tree goes right myers is stalking and then it shows a shot of Lori, and then myers that that sort of cut in between the tree lines
Minds or whatever, that was cool. One thing I didn't like is the Shot for Shot remake in the middle half. Like right after the, the whole childhood thing, right? And he actually grows up to be a fucking monster. The film starts doing the, the trope, the remake trope that I don't like, which is a Shot for Shot remake. We meet Laurie Strode, she's a bit more playful. And she meets Tommy Doyle, they do the shot thing. I don't, it's not a Shot for Shot remake, but it's like, oh no, this is the from the first movie. Why are they doing this? And then her, she has her like two friends, they're walking. At least there's no like bush scene, right? At least that wasn't there, but it's like a little bit of like, oh no, don't do this. And luckily it doesn't go that way. It still becomes different and finds its own like sort of identity, luckily. Uh, the scene where Daniel Harris almost gets killed and Brad Dorfus gets worried, that was a good scene. Good father and daughter scene. Again, both these actors, I like both these actors for very different reasons. And that was just a cool scene. It was just cool seeing Chucky being played by the actual actor. I don't know. I just, I just love them in this movie and in the sequel as well. So as to which cut do I prefer? I prefer the theatrical cut. One, because it's shorter. It does not to be as long as it should be in the director's cut and i prefer the badass chain scenes where he just kills a bunch of guards and not be like a hero by saving this patient from being raped like i i don't i did not like that at all i didn't prefer that oh i, for, I forgot to mention he just did your boy danny trejo wrong man he, he was nice to michael and everything and he kills him brutally in the director's cut i believe which is goddamn head and fucking toilet it was cool but man did your boy danny trejo wrong but yes i do prefer the theatrical cut I do think it's better but overall uh, rob zombies halloween is just okay even both cuts they're fine i like some changes like some there's some changes that i didn't like backstory on him does ruin the mystique of myers next is obviously on the 30th will be rob zombies halloween 2 another very polarizing entry into the franchise